Hey everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we saw how we can use Terraform to deploy resources. In this one, we will use CloudFormation, which is an AWS offering that can be used to deploy resources on local stack. AWS CloudFormation is AWS primary infrastructure as code service. It is used declaratively defined to define your infrastructure on the AWS cloud, including resources such as S3 buckets, Lambda functions, and much more. So let's get started. For deploying using AWS CloudFormation, we will be using AWS Local, which is a thin wrapper around the AWS command line interface for use with local stack. You can also find this project on GitHub. Now let's dive into CloudFormation code and see what resources are being made. So as you can see, we have already created a YAML file for this deployment. So let me walk you through this. Let's break down this AWS CloudFormation template. This template is used to define and deploy AWS infrastructure. It sets up the application demo of an ECS cluster hosting the APIs through API Gateway. Let me walk you through some of the sections and explain how the file is laid out. So the file first defines the parameters, variables to be used throughout the script. Then after this, we define the metadata and the networking mappings. And after this, we define the resources such as DynamoDB table, VPC, and subnets. So you can see here, we are defining the DynamoDB table with the name of table pet store food. Now let's run the script. To create the infrastructure using CloudFormation, we will first go inside CloudFormation folder. Then we will assign the variable uh, then we then we will assign value to variable stack and finally create the cloud formation. So we will wait for a few seconds for infrastructure to be created. And we can also check the status of the stack uh, using this command. AWS local cloud formation describe stacks. So let's check the status. Cool. It shows create complete. Now let's go to web app and check the resource browser to see if resources have been created. So let's go to app.localstack.cloud and then resource browser and let's check the status. Awesome. So I can see a lot of services running. So we are successfully able to create the resources. Now let's check DynamoDB and see if the tables have been created. Awesome. So I can see two tables, table pet store food and table pet store pets. Awesome. We were able to learn how to create AWS resources on local stack using AWS local. We were also able to deploy all the AWS resources for the demo application. In the next video, let's go over another important offering of local stack that is IAM policy stream.